Hey, what's up guys? Eric 740T here. Just wanted to kind of show you my finished product of my um, HAL quad. A uh, couple things um, when I built it. Okay, everything's mounted up like this is how I fly it. Um, and I just flew it a little while ago. Um, I made a custom bracket out of uh, part of the old X580 frame. I chopped it up and made it uh, fit. Put a piece of Velcro down there so the battery can go across that way. And then I wrapped the uh, turn into the battery tie down around it. Um, it also is where my GoPro is mounted. Um, it's pretty secure. Uh, you can see I mounted my um, uh, video transmitter to the arm, not not to the landing gear, because if the landing gear breaks off I don't want that to go with it. So, And uh, that seems to be working very good at, in that position there. And my um, all my power distribution and all that, it's like it's it's right underneath the uh, the flight controller and normally I would tidy up my wires and stuff in there but I'm not going to on this quad because it makes it easier when you because I got the stuff mounted on the top when I pull the canopy up um, it's not stuck and tight um, so I, I got leeway with that uh, the custom harness for the GoPro that goes to my um, up to my OSD and then out to my uh, where is it video transmitter um, this thing flies great, and I'm going to make another video in just a second. I just wanted to kind of show you my layout here. Um, it's heavy, even without the battery. One thing to point out, since this is, I said it before, but this will be the absolutely last build video. Um, you can see I cut um, openings here because I wanted to mount my ESCs like this, and they stay extremely cool. Um, the landing, the only weak point on this whole frame setup, the only downfall, and I hope I hope Hobby King changes it to instead of this thin plastic, um, the uh, the plastic that mounts the gear together, if they would switch to some kind of rubberized, um, either rubberized plastic or just straight up like a urethane or something, because these they, they crack really easily. I mean, even on like soft landings. So I'll figure something else out on that. As but um, anything else, this quad's strong. It is, it's awesome. Um, if you did happen to break one of these um, carbon fiber like landing gear dowels, you could just go to like uh, probably the uh, Home Depot or something and buy one of the little metal rods, or you could even use wooden dowels and probably just as good. But uh, well, that's it, guys. Got the two GPS modules up here. Uh, mess inside of there, but the multi Wii. Um, my custom power distribution board uh, with the the extended wire I made and I showed a video on how to to uh, solder one of those together and uh, I did add that extra mounting plate and and bolted it down to the frame so I could have something to loop around and something to mount my battery on in my camera so and it's it's very stable it's sturdy um, no vibrations no jello on the camera whatsoever alright guys thanks for watching sorry I didn't mean to drag it out this long but this is the final video of the build. I just wanted to give you a little more layout. I am using the 8x4.7 uh, carbon fiber props and they will lift all this weight with a 3300 milliamp battery with no problem. Um, and I'm going to point out something interesting on my next video about the power distribution board um, from Hobby King compared to the one I made. And there's a big difference. Stay tuned for that please. It's important. This thing is um, this thing can cause you a lot of problems. And maybe it's just mine, but it sure can. Alright guys.